everyone, Miss Ali again. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to put on false lashes. So we're going to be doing strip lashes and individual lashes. They're a necessity for competition. So keep on watching. So I'm going to be showing you how to apply eyelashes. So these are strip lashes that I'm going to be putting on myself. And these ones are from the brand Ardell. You can get them at the pharmacy or at Walmart. They're super cheap and they're great. So what I like to do is I take the strip lash and a pair of tweezers and I'm going to hold my lashes with my tweezers. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue on the lash band. So this one's from Duo. It's my favorite glue. It's the um, brush on adhesive. So I'm going to apply some of the glue onto the band of the lash, just like this. And I'm going to make sure that I apply it pretty evenly. You don't want to put too much just enough that it'll stick. And I always like to put a little bit of extra glue on the two sides, like the tips, just because that's where lashes tend to lift the most. So I just apply a little bit of extra glue on the ends. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna let it dry. It's super, super important that you let your eyelash glue dry before actually applying your lashes because if you don't, the glue will be extremely slippery and it's not gonna actually stick properly where you want it to stick. Whereas if the glue's a little bit more tacky, it's gonna stick exactly where you put it and it won't move. So we're gonna let this dry for about 30 seconds. Once the glue is tacky, you can go ahead and place this right on your eye. So I'm gonna put it kind of at like an upwards uh, angle. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stick it down right on the base where I put the mascara on my real eyelashes. So once it's down, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push down on the lashes to get the glue onto my eyelid. You can use your tweezers for this, but I prefer to use my fingers. I find I have more control and once they're at a spot where I like them, I'm gonna push them upwards like this to make sure that the glue is really sticking and that my regular lashes mix in properly with my fake lashes. I'm gonna really push down on the edges to make sure that they don't lift. And once you're happy with them, you can go ahead and do the next eye. So here's how to apply individual lashes. I know sometimes on kids you might not want to put strip lashes on, so this is a great alternative if you want to add a little bit of extra lashes on them for a dance competition or a dance show. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be applying some mascara on her eyes just as a base so that the lashes can sit properly. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and I'm going to be applying just a little bit on her lashes. So just look forward for me right here, yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the individual lashes on Mia's eyes. These ones are the Ardell individual lashes. You can buy them at the pharmacy or Walmart. They're super inexpensive and they're great. So what you want to do is you're going to want to take some tweezers and you're going to pick off one of the lashes with the tweezers like this. You're going to take some lash glue. So this is the duo lash glue. And you're gonna put some on the tip of the lash, just like this. And you're gonna let it dry for about 30 seconds. So now that the glue is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick the individual lash onto Mia's outer corner. And I'm gonna push down on it to make sure that it really sticks. Now these lashes aren't to add too much volume, they're just to add a little bit of extra fluff on her eyelashes to make them look that much better on stage. So open up Mia for me. So as you can see, it's just, it adds a bit of length at the outer corner and a little bit of volume. So we're gonna add maybe four or five of the individual lashes along her eye. So as you can see, 
The outer corner is a little bit more full over here. It's not too much of a drastic change, but it's perfect for younger dancers who don't want that much makeup on. It just gives that extra little volume on the outside. You can actually apply them all along her eye, but I personally like them just on the outer corner. So now I'm going to be doing lashes on Miss Sabi. So we're using these Sephora Collection lashes um, and they're strip lashes. So these are the ones that we're going to be putting all along her eye in one shot. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the lashes from the package with a pair of tweezers. We don't want them to rip so go pretty slowly. And once the lashes are out, I'm going to grab them with my tweezers like this and I'm going to apply glue along the lash band. I'm going to be using the same glue as before, the Duo Brush On Adhesive. So I'm just going to be applying the lash glue in the center of the lash like this with concentrating a little bit more glue on the ends because that's normally where lashes tend to unstick. So if you see that the lashes are a little bit too long, you can always just measure them to the person's eye and trim off any excess um, that you might feel necessary. So I'm just going to actually trim off a little bit from the inner corner right here just to make them fit Miss Sabi's eyes a little bit better. Okay, so we're just going to let the lashes dry for about 30 seconds or until you feel like the glue is tacky enough. And once the glue is tacky, we're going to go ahead and apply it to her eye. Okay, so once you feel like the glue is sticky enough, I'm just going to go ahead and apply these onto Miss Sabi's eyes. So just like this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my tweezers very carefully near her eyes to place the lashes the way I want them. And then I'm going to go ahead with my finger and push against them to make sure that they're nice and stuck on there. So when she looks up, I'm just going to actually push her lashes upwards like this to make them look nice and lifted. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed that I didn't put mascara on first like I did the other times. This is just another technique that you can use. You can actually put the lashes on first and then apply your mascara later to blend the lashes and your real lashes together. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to just have her look forward for me. And we're not going to put that much. We're just going to put a little bit just to make sure that both her real lashes and her false lashes are nice and blended and that they all look like one. Another tip is to make sure that the strip lash is really, really close to her actual lashes and that you don't see a space in between. Um, what will help with that is putting eyeliner or really, really pushing the lashes close to your real lashes so that there's no gap. So as you can see, there's no gap and her lashes are on properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side now. Same technique as before. So I hope these tips and tricks on how to put on false lashes helped you guys. I hope that you use them when competition season rolls around. Thanks for watching.